their pixel pushers. It's uh, Sadiq Hussain here again with a, another Affinity Photo tutorial. Another quick one, this one, because we're concentrating on the tools again. And uh, we've done the Flood Fill tool, now we're on the Gradient tool. Now the Gradient tool in, in Affinity Photo works slightly different to, differently to some of the other software programs. So it's just worth emphasizing a couple of aspects of it. So here I've got a blank canvas. And if on the right hand side we put on a new pixel layer, because we need to have a layer active obviously to put anything on at all. So new pixel layer, so it's totally empty, but we got the blank white canvas beneath it. And we've got the gradient tool selected, which looks a bit like a uh, a record, coloured record with a needle on it, but it's really is a um to indicate that you're pulling uh, a range of coloured gradients across an image. If I just find the centre, of course you don't have to find the centre, if I find the centre, because I've got the um, uh, the uh, snapping tools on at the top, so always uh, be mindful of your snap tools are or engaged, because it really helps to find the centre. So there we go. So if I click and drag now, um, diagonally although you don't have to do it diagonally you can do it um, horizontally or vertically just just zoom out a little bit and what I've applied there it's a linear gradient going from zero to uh, an element of black okay so it's a linear gradient if I change that to radial it then becomes from uh, a center outwards and that always works quite well in a lot of images so let's say that there but of course that's white to black but we might not want that so if we click on the actual swatch and we'll say where the white is which is the center we'll want that don't want the color to be white we'll have it to be some shade of um, red and then where the black we'll click on the black swatch and maybe we'll just have it uh, a bright red okay so you can change where the gradation is by moving this little slider you might want it like a spotlight in the middle um, if you click on the gradient tool again click on the and the layer um, you can uh, um, see exactly what you've done there what you've created okay if you've done that and that's on a blank canvas if you wanted to do something similar on an image so we've got an image there and we've got a sort of blank negative space here maybe you don't want the eye to go there so quickly you want to go there so you could apply a gradient uh, in in an appropriate way now this time we don't need to create a pixel layer necessarily because we've already got an active layer there so we go back to the gradient tool again go to the center and pull out now here what we have got is uh, from black to white because that will give you some sort of shading to it and if we um, look at that on the right hand side you can see it's applied that gradient on the image itself now that's not going to help because we now can't see the image so we do in fact want to come back to here and put on a new um, pixel layer Okay, so it's worth remembering, Put use a new pixel layer, then get the gradient tool, then find the center or wherever you want to start from. Of course, you can move it afterwards. Put that on. So it's now giving you a similar effect, but of course, it's on a new, a new pixel layer here. And what we need to do is to change. That's obscuring that. So we need to change the blend modes. Okay, so... We change the blend modes to find the one that works uh, for our image. Okay. As we go through, so overlay could work, soft light definitely could work, hard light, and let's go for soft light. So, what's that doing? What's that basically done is put a, if I just disable it, it's made the top left hand corner darker so that the emphasis and the bottom right hand corner lighter so the emphasis is more on here now if you don't like that look of course there's no reason why you can't change it so you go back to here and say well where 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 it's white here 
do you want it to be that light down there and you might not want to so just click on the white click on the swatch and maybe you just want to darken that a little bit and as you can see maybe not as dark as at the top here so it's a shade of gray now there's nothing to stop you from using a color so you could say well actually maybe this color this purple color would be appropriate so you could estimate it and and use say that color and put a, a shade of color over it that's something you could do okay so now that gives it quite a quite an unusual look to the image okay let's just click on the hand tool so you get rid of the gradient tool so it's done its job so that's just a quick overview of what the gradient tool can do um, for overlays and for darkening a particular area applying a um, colored um, uh, filter over a particular area or of course as large areas if you wanted to fill a large area but with a gradient okay you've seen this in one of the other videos as well i'll link that up actually so that you can go back to it and watch that again and um, when we're creating some artistic um, mood boards um, at, uh, 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 like this with a with the gradient tool okay thanks for watching um, leave some comments any feedback any suggestions would be greatly appreciated thank you very much